Nearly 15,000 fans are in Bloomington Normal for three days for the annual Illinois High School Association Girls Basketball State Finals. Our own Shabnam Dinesh joins us live in studio tonight to show us how the influx of guests translates to economic activity for the local community. Shabnam. Well, Mark Shelby, Redbird Arena at Illinois State University was packed with fans today cheering on their favorite high school girls basketball team and the Twin Cities are reaping the economic benefits to the tune of 1.2 million dollars. That's according to the Bloomington Normal Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. After a year off, the Illinois High School Association Girls Basketball State Final is back in normal. Today we're uh, celebrating return to girls basketball. The executive director of IHSA says it's wonderful to be back at Redbird Arena at Illinois State University. It's incredibly exciting and I think that's reflective of the excitement that we see with the girls. Seeing the camaraderie and love that's shared between the, the students, their, their coaches and their fan base. Matt Hawkins with the Bloomington Normal Area Convention and Visitors Bureau says Redbird Arena has hosted the competition for decades. It's a prestigious thing, number one, you know. Uh, as I mentioned, it's kind of become a, a strong tradition. It's great seeing uh, all the, the fans in the stands, a, a full house. Uh, this is the energy, I think, is what's exciting to me. Hawkins says visitors to the area will bring an estimated economic impact of $1.2 million. We have those teams, of course, staying in our hotels and the fans, uh, eating in our restaurants, going shopping at our uh, shopping centers, getting gas, those kind of things. The managing partner of Ancho and Agave in Bloomington says they have been getting reservations for large groups. We get a lot, a lot of phone calls about it. Uh, parties 10, 12, 20. We try to take as many as we can. Hawkins says it's a win win for the whole community. Positively impacts the community and increases the quality of life here for our residents. The tournament ends on Saturday. And Anderson says this year is the 50th anniversary of Title IX. That legislation prohibits sex discrimination for schools receiving federal funding. Anderson says it has led to many gains for girls in sports. He says they recently held the first high school girls wrestling championship. Shelby.